Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rosa Oliai, obstetrician and gynecologist. I'll be sharing with you some of my thoughts on a very important topic, uh, disease related to the uterus, which is a cause of concern to many women in all age groups. And that's called fibroid uterus, myoma, leomyoma. These are the various names by which we designate this problem. So what is a fibroid? So fibroid is a growth of the muscle of the uterus, which could be genetic changes in the muscle cells of the uterus. If you see the structure, this is a uterus. And if you can see these white structures which are here, they are tiny, tiny fibroids. So depending on the site and size of the fibroid, the treatment starts. So what are these fibroids? It could be from a tiny seed like a rice grain, you know, as small as that, which cannot be seen by naked eyes. Ultrasonography, maybe. It could be large. It could be inside the muscle of the uterus. It could be inside the cavity of the uterus. It could be even outside. So we have different, you know, sizes, as small as a grain, to a very large one. So depending on the size and the site, the symptoms and the problems of the woman arises and the treatment depends on these factors. Now usually if it's a small fibroid, it's within the muscle, there is not much problem with it. You know, the patient doesn't have any symptoms. However, if this fibroid just comes inside the cavity, then it causes problems such as painful menstruation, when you have a lot of pain during menses, a lot of bleeding during periods, you pass clots, you know, during the menses, which becomes, you know, too much, it becomes heavy cycles. Sometimes in between your cycles, you have spotting. Passing urine becomes difficult. So you have pain by passing urine. During sexual contact, you have pain. And there's always a sense of heaviness in the lower abdomen. So if these are your symptoms, you have to definitely go visit your gynecologist and see what the issue is. Now, uh, ultrasonography has played a great role. So how we diagnose these fibroids is by doing a transvaginal sonography. It should be done internal sonography, TVS, that gives you a correct picture of the size of the place. Depending on the size, and as I said, the place it is, the treatment starts. So if it's a very small fibroid, it's not troubling you much, maybe a little heavy bleeding, there are medications that can be given, can reduce the size of the fibroid. However, if it's troubling you, too much of periods, it's heaviness, it depends on what your symptoms is, it can always be removed. If you've completed your family life, you don't want to have a child, your age is 45 and above, I would definitely advise you to do a hysterectomy and remove it. If your age is less, you're not bothered, I mean, you need to have a child and this is troubling you, then a laparoscopic removal or a hysteroscopic removal is essential. So laparoscopy is from inside, from your abdomen and hysteroscopy, we go inside and remove this through a hysteroscope internally. So these are the basic treatments that is done with a fibroid. Now, it is nothing to worry about because certain, you know, uh, categories of, you know, fib uh, tumors, after once it sets with menopause, once your menses get over, it shrinks. Sometimes it doesn't, you know. So that's a time you have to really visit your gynecologist because you have a lot of, you know, periods during your premenopause stage and your menses are not stopping. So that could be one reason. However, I must reassure you that these are not cancerous and you should not be worried about it. But definitely fibroids, as I mentioned, sometimes, you know, the women don't have symptoms, but sometimes they come up and they have a lot of symptoms with it. So you need to be treated. So the best thing would be, I would advise my patients, especially those in the reproductive age group, premenopause, that means 45 years and above, you must go for your annual checkup. Every year a transvaginal sonography, because you never know what goes inside. You know, sometimes during menses you may have pain, you know, and you may say, oh, it's always like that. But no, it could be a problem related with, you know, fibroids in the uterus. So it's always good to go to your gynecologist, get yourself checked up. For those patients who want to get pregnant, 
it depends where the fibroid is. But if the fibroid is outside the uterus, you know, like it's not going to affect your getting pregnant, your fertility. But if it is inside, and especially those which are inside the cavity, that has to be removed. That will help you to become pregnant if it's removed. Otherwise, that could be a cause of infertility. So overall, fibroids are to be treated uh, well. There's nothing to worry about it. And uh, I'm sure once you go to your gynecologist, they will tell you everything and help you to get through it. So I hope you like the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like it with everyone. Thank you.